Hey everyone, in this short video, I'm going to demonstrate that OSBF neighbors do not actually always need to have the same subnet mask. Uh, this is something that was drilled into our heads for, you know, looking at CCENT, I don't even remember if that covered OSBF, uh, but CCNA, CCMP, one of the requirements is always that the neighbors must have the same subnet mask. Now, there are a couple exceptions to that, so I'm going to show you one of those exceptions. As you can see on my GNS3, I have two routers, which I have a directly connected link. I'll pull up the CLI and let's show run the interface that's connected. And it's 10 to, I'm sorry, 10 12 0.1 in a slash 24. Um, I don't know why I did cop T, but show run in gig zero one. This one is 10 12 0 2, but a slash 25. So they don't have the same subnet map. However, we could still ping over because from R2's perspective, you know, dot one is still within that slash 25. So that's no problem. Now let's see what happens with OSPF. So let's go into gig zero one and I'm going to do IP OSPF one area zero. I'm going to do a simple OSPF configuration here. We're just going to configure it on the interfaces. Let's go to R1's perspective, but before we do that, I'm going to do a debug IP OSBF hello. So if there's any issues, we can see them. Now I'll go into gig 02, uh, IP OSBF 1 area 0, and wait. So we've sent our hello, and I'm going to get out of config mode. All right, so let me you all to turn off debugging. We're gonna get these messages over and over again, so I just wanted us to see it once. And I'm looking at this line right here that says, we have a hello, but it has mismatched hello parameters from 10, 12, 0, 2. Now the mismatched parameter in this case is the subnet mask. And the reason why is if we do a show IP OSBF interface, uh, gig 0, 2, by default, the network type is going to be broadcast. Um, sorry about the flashing there. Um, the network type is broadcast because that is the default for Ethernet or gig Ethernet links, which this is a gig Ethernet link. So let's change that because the exception to the subnet mask rule, so to speak, is virtual links or point to point links. Because if you think about it logically, on a point to point link, you don't really care that the other, you know, host doesn't have the same subnet mask as you um, because you don't need to broadcast or ARP or things like that. You're directly connected. Um, as long as your IP addresses seem to be in the same subnet, we'll be fine. So what I'm going to do is go to that link and IP OSBF network, and it's going to be point to point. Let's do the same here. OSBF network is point to point. And already we've gone, the neighbor 1111 has gone from loading to full. And if we do a show IP OSBF neighbor, our neighbor is up. So we can see that the neighbors, you know, we have a full neighbor relationship, even though they don't have the same subnet mask. Now, the only odd thing about this is we know that the type one LSA, let's do show IP OSBF database router. Let's look at some type one LSAs here and I'll expand the screen. We should have two type ones. The first one is gonna have the advertising router of 1.1.1.1, so that's router one. And you could see I have, um, let me scroll down just a little bit. I have a link connected to a stub network. It's the 10 12 0, 0 network and the mask is slash 24. If I look at the type one LSA from R2, which is here, my stub network is 10 12 0, 0 as well, but my subnet mask again is a slash 25. So this is fine. It's just going to show up weird when you look at the routing table. So show IP route OSBF. 
look at this route, 10, 12, 0, 0, slash 24. Let's look at the full routing table, actually. Show IP route. And I'm just going to begin at the word gateway to kind of make it cleaner. I have an OSBF route for slash 24, and I have a connected route to slash 25. If we go to router one, we're going to see the same type of, of output. Show IP route, begin gateway. I have my connected route of slash 24, and then the OSBF route of slash 25. The only reason I bring this up is because this is not, you know, normal OSBF behavior. You know, if we were in the same subnet, I'm never going to see this OSBF route because it's directly connected. But because the subnets are different, OSBF advertises them and you see them in the routing table as an OSBF route. So that's the only weird quirk. Other than that, you know, we could see from R2, if we go back up and look at the show IP route OSBF, I'm um, sorry, show, I did a OSBF route instead of route OSBF. You know, I'm learning router one's loop back, which is my point. That I can still learn routes, no problem. We still have the neighbor relationship. It hasn't dropped. Everything works normal. The only oddity is that you're learning the link that you're directly connected on. You're learning that through OSBF. So that's the video. If you have any questions, um, comments, please leave them below. Uh, I thought it was kind of an interesting, you know, case you might see yourself in. Obviously, in a production environment, I wouldn't recommend doing it, but it is possible. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.